All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We are doing some outdoor shooting today. Uh, we are at Sugar Beach, not far from our house. And today we'll be, we'll be doing about our one year here in Canada. We are here since February 27th. 2023. Uh, I think by the time you upload this video, it should be one year in. So we will be eating some, some stuff, and we will be answering some questions that people usually ask us, right? So we're gonna begin with your coffee. It, it's super windy today, so we initially thought that we could put it on the tripod and just video it, but the wind has been very, very strong. So the mic is gonna be all over the place. So forgive us for that. Uh, we'll give us give you some shots around on how the wind looks like. Uh, it's currently negative one at the moment. Uh, if it's the, if there's no wind, actually, it would be fine. It would be fine. It would be very chill. But no, it's not. My hands are freezing. Our hands are freezing. I think the coffee is going to go cold. It's already cold. In just a minute. But the funny thing is that it's so cold. It's so wavy, the water. But there are ducks in the water, which we will show you in a bit. They are just chilling. All right, question. This question That's one. Fine. How's life there in Canada? How's life there in Canada? I think it's depending on when you ask, right? But given that we are one year in, I think that answer has evolved pretty much. We came here with a very nice expectation that it would be a better place from where we came from. Uh, weather is nice until now, <laughs> it's a bit chilly. But other than that, it's been going okay. We, we still spend a lot. Our rent takes up most of it. Uh, the tax here is 13%, the GST. Or they call it HST. So when we were complaining 6% in Malaysia when GST was implemented, I think that's child's play, right? We eat better, we would say. Yeah. Uh, although uh, the Canadians have complained that grocery has went up so much since post-pandemic, still pretty much cheaper from Malaysia, right? Uh, I always give the best example was uh, 1 kg of pork belly. Back in Malaysia, 1 kg of pork belly is about how much? Uh, I think it's 60. 60 ringgit, right? But 40 to 60 ringgit, I think it has gone up, right? For 1 kilogram of pork. But let's say you count dollar to dollar. Here we buy it. One kilogram is about 13 to 14. <coughs> about <coughs> blast. Uh. Back home is anam pulo. Not anam blast. Uh, anam pulo. So... Yeah, the price. Yeah, so... The grocery price yeah. is quite different. So, uh, besides that, we would say like things like... I keep saying like a lot so nowadays. <laughs> uh, olive oil, avocado oil. Nowadays, we cook with just avocado and olive oil because one bottle is one liter bottle is close to about 16 18 dollars back in Malaysia I think it's about 30 40 ringgit no way in hell if we cook with 30 <laughs> 40 ringgit oil right but here it's it's a cheap whoop okay I think my leg hole also can already you know you got like what I didn't eat your leg, yeah, leg so what, else, what, what, what is our with our life here second is huh? uh, so the, second oh, no, question, the yeah. first one is it house life in there how about you we woke up more as we walk more because we don't have a car here in Malaysia, we just drive everywhere and it don't really work out. Yeah, so I think in a way, we are happier here in, a, in terms of eating and also working out. Yeah, because uh, where we live, we live in the heart of the city itself, downtown uh, Toronto. Yeah. Uh, so our office is just about 20 minutes walk, uh, 20, 20 minutes, to 30 minutes yeah. walk, maybe her 40 minutes. Right. I take about an average 20 minutes to get to her uh, on the week, in the evenings. I, if I'm not working, then I'll go and get her. Yeah. And maybe we'll grab dinner or we just walk back, mm -hmm. enjoy the weather. So, oh yeah, when it comes to health, uh, I think since, okay, one year, right? Uh, since landing in Canada and as of yeah. one year, I think I dropped about close to 10 kilograms in total. So yeah, that's a very big, that's a very big yeah. achievement. But it's, it has stagnated because I realized that I lose a lot. Then I start snacking more a bit. Ah. Even snacks are cheaper here, right? <laughs> one one small pint of Hagen dazs is $5. Yeah. It's like 2 for 10. Yeah. Yeah, but Malaysia is like 1 for 30, is it? 20, 20 plus, I think. 30 yeah. plus 30. So, so we became like this jakun. Uh, <laughs> right? We're like, whoa. So every other day, we'll be eating uh, Hagen dazs. Then we buy lace. Lace as well. 2 for 7, 2 for 8. Yeah, it's cheap. It's cheap. So while we're eating healthy, when we, we snack a bit, we yeah. let loose a bit because of how. We think it's affordable, but I think we should actually cut down. <laughs> we say that, but uh, when the promotion comes every week, then we're like, fuck it. Okay. But even with snacking, he still lost 10 kilograms. So it's... Yeah, even that I eat dinner, because <laughs> I work I work night, right? For closing in, in a grocery store. So I, I, I eat late dinners. I eat about like 11 p.m. Somehow, and I sleep late. 
so sleeping habits feel bad, but shit, it's cold. But yeah, you're doing alright. Uh, you how about your work? Work-wise, I think it's just the industry. Uh, it's the same everywhere. So I couldn't really compare it with Malaysia because Malaysia it was it was a general non-client facing job. So over here is a consulting firm. So definitely the workload is higher, but I think um, overall it's still good because of uh, the pay is not bad and can support both of us. Yeah, it's just that the rent is killing, right? The rent takes yeah. up a lot. Half, no, more than half. No, less than half. Less than half of our total income. Yeah, yeah. The next one is, how is it different from, from Malaysia? Malaysia? Yeah, I think we, how is it different from Malaysia? I think we covered pretty much some of it in the first question, yeah. but... Oh, upon landing, right? Uh, then we took the subway. Mm. The first time we took the subway. Uh, so we're very dependent on our phone and data nowadays with maps, right? Mm. But there's subway here, given that it's built 1970s or prior, so there's no signal. Back. Yeah. There's no signal in the subway. Mm. It's just dead. Then we're like, huh, what? So this is a first <laughs> country, you should have some stuff, right? Yeah, we're uh, expecting that it's more developed. <laughs> yeah, but apparently it's quite similar to Malaysia. It's There's a monopoly somewhere and then yeah. nobody won't give in. But a few months after, then one of the leading telco has, has it. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, then besides that, uh, banking, right? Banking and fintech. Here I heard that some of the banks, they are still a bit behind in the industry like I had the BMO or BMO what they call it mm. as of last year only they allowed their online banking to transact online other than that it's just to view your balance which is stupid unheard of in Malaysia right in the bank to yeah, you has it's mobile app right not the online uh, banking even the online like, also right I don't, I don't know it, it's just very bad then you compare to Maybank or CMB uh, the person who is not yeah, so it's more convenient secure, in Asia so. yeah it, like Maybank is leading the way very well in, in fintech or there's grab boost touch and go e-wallet but here e-wallet is unheard of <clears throat> everything is still uh what i call it credit card yeah. amex yeah. people are crazy uh, with amex here as well uh, okay in malaysia we have this thing maps right where you can do interbank transfers and stuff and then they have implemented uh do it now where it's instantaneous it's kind of qr code or when you send transfers are now quite it's instant right instant is an instant but here their yeah, instant is 30 minutes <laughs> so I send her money or she send anybody money they're like yes your money is sent then the, the receiving party is like well it takes 30 minutes to yeah, receive it you take around 30 minutes to receive create some anxiety right for me giving out the money I don't know where my money is going hopefully the money reaches and the person receiving the money is the person really transferring the money to me and blah 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 so that was that was very weird <laughs> oh by the way uh, telco then as far as here infrastructure wise very good 5G we are on 5G, 5G plus is moving that. Amazing. 200 megabit per second. Fast. But it's crazy expensive. I think it's still okay. For me, to me, for me, I feel it's still fine because I was paying more back in Malaysia. Really? How much you pay? Yeah, mine was 60, right? I mean. No, because, because we got all these discounts uh, factored in. So, because it's really your plan, right? It's $90. Right? Yeah, but ours no is already discounted. Discount. Yeah, so we're discounted because I, of my, oh shit, it's cool. No, if, you, if you don't really need 5G, then actually it's not right, not expensive. Yeah, <laughs> it's just that because it took 5G. Because, because nowadays, there's this a cheaper one like Freedom Mobile, what, 30 gig for $34, but it's 4G. But given that you're holding a 5G phone, it doesn't make sense to just have 4G, right? But 4G is also still fast. It's very I mean, you don't really feel the difference in terms of browsing and all. Yeah. But it's just that when you do the speed test and you'll see the yeah. difference. I mean, if you're streaming on the go, then yes. But you're paying so premium with so much data. Yeah. But we don't use so much of the data outside given that uh, she works from home. Yeah. And I, when I work, I can't use my phone. And then pretty much we're at home most of the yeah. time. So on average, we use about 20-ish gig per person. So we're paying for like 50 gig. Right? Yeah. And then they, they keep offering you, hey, I got a good plan for you. $50 or 70, 75 gig. <laughs> you need the gig and you need cheaper. So that's the thing. Uh, in Malaysia recently, I, I still capo, right? We, I look through my Unify website to check if there's any discount. So recently, the 100 Mbps were for my parents, all right? Uh, just my parents and my sister who's an active user. Mm. It has gotten cheaper a bit. I think it's to cater with the middle income and the low income people. So in the sense that Malaysia, they are doing well with that. They are trying to accommodate more people. But here, yeah, no way in hell it goes cheaper. Everything just becomes more pricey. Even our telco, we, it has gone up by no, I think the, the only time they'll adjust is during Black Friday. Oh, sale. You'll get sale. a very cheap deal yeah. during Black Friday. So it, it, you get really good deals, one off, right? But if but like reducing cost of living here, no. But if you sign the deal during the Black oh, Friday, yes. then you get it for the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next for Friday, the two years, right? Oh, but if you're on Black Friday or, or Boxing Day deals, then yes, it's 
very very cheap not like Malaysia's cheap right but uh, what I was comparing is because like housing insurance uh, or car insurance here it doesn't get cheaper and they really really take into account where you're driving it where you're parking it which area you live in if you live in an area which is high tax but apparently Alik said they really pay for yeah. pay off for the car right so yeah. claim I think is much easier faster and you can really use it to buy a car you want to eat your food right? yeah so what else is different here ah electricity right it's cheaper in the sense that the rates are cheaper but then there's something called delivery charge which I don't understand. So it, it balances out again. And how it is being built uh, and being paid here in Canada is that if you're living in a condo, you're not paying directly to like the major PMB or here they call it the Toronto Hydro. Uh, you're paying it as to the to a submetering company who is quite call it handling the fault meter for the condo. So it's contracted with them, then they'll handle the billing, they separate it, they bill it accordingly. So cold water, hot water, heating, everything I is... I think they give us the wrong... The wrong one, uh? Yeah. Aye, yeah. Without the... Without the... Hash brown. Aye, yeah. So you sleep this, you're paying about... 100, 60, 180 a month. Dollars, dollar, I think it's still mm. cheaper than Malaysia, but the condo is paying bulk meter water to the... What is 36 bucks, mm. is it? And now it's going up. Minimum 36. Crazy, minimum 36. Then electricity is about 140, 150. Hmm. Back in Malaysia. Oh no, I'm so suffering. So if you count dollars to dollars about the same, but given our earning power is different, right? When it comes to dollar to dollar. So it's a bit of a pinch sometimes. But nevertheless, we still manage to set aside money every month. Here everything is taxable, right? They really, really look at the tax where your saving interest, everything is taxed. So they have this thing called tax-free savings account mm -hmm. where you set aside in this account tax-free savings and you're not taxed whatever gain you get from it, capital gain, dividends and all, you don't get taxed. But there's a cap every year. It's like a, like a game a bit mm -hmm. that feel, so that it, it makes you safe. So we do set aside small sum every other month. Mm -hmm. Then they have this thing called retirement savings plan. Yeah. It's not like, it's kind of like uh, EAPPF, but it's private. But you do but it's your money totally, right? Mm. Some companies, they have the RRSP match, mm. the retirement savings plan. But when you withdraw, when you retire, you mm. withdraw, then you're taxed. So it's a deferred tax kind of thing. But RRSP allows you to reduce your income bracket, income bracket. Your, your income tax bracket, right? There's a whole other story to it. But yeah, I think that's pretty much the difference. Everything is... Oh my god, shit's cold. What is it that you like about living there? Here. The weather, <laughs> one thing. Cold. <laughs> it's so cold that it's painful. So we, given that it's cold, even the summer is about high of 27. Mm. In Malaysia, 27 is the low. So we never had a fan. We don't even have a fan. We never need a yeah. fan. Because the unit has ventilation itself, so it circulates the air. Domestic. Yeah. Even then, we don't turn on the ventilation air to the highest anymore. Or maybe during the summer, but during the winter, we just leave it at one and it's super cold. But Malaysia is just hot all the time. Yeah. So that's some, one thing we love. <laughs> about being here. Uh, here is as well uh, very diverse. Pretty much I, I, I've been working with uh, her boss is a Mexican, my boss is Italian, uh, then I have Iranian colleagues, I have uh, Cambodian, I have one Malaysian with me as well, where I, am. Uh, I think with you, she has also Malaysians there. Uh, who have, who has got Chinese, Hong Kong. So it's not just with white people, right? So it's very, and then everybody has their own identity. I think she has more exposure, but it's, but it's corporate. Mine is retail, so yeah, it's very different exposure because mm -hmm. people are just more chillax when they're shopping. Yeah. So the other thing that is different, right, here in Canada is that they are, or Canada or the North America, is that they are so soft on crime. I, I'm not sure it's because it's too costly to prosecute or put them in jail or something. But people can just walk in, get two crates of beer, and just walk out. And then we are, uh, by training, we are not allowed to pursue them, we're not allowed to catch them, we're not allowed to do anything. We just have to do, we just have to uh, call the manager or the loss protection. Because if anything were to happen to these robbers, then they can sue us, then in the end, I'm the one who gets mm. laid off, right? It's very really weird. So every time we see some homeless person or a drug addict, oh yeah, they, even at one point in uh, British Columbia, right, recently, they were wanting to have a safe space, safe space for drug consumption. Totally unheard of if you're coming from Malaysia, you're drug addict, what are you? Why are you? But this time they're giving them a safe space and this money all comes from taxpayers money and then the city always says that you do not have enough money. But they already protest. 
Yeah. In the profession, I didn't make high school. It is it's no brainer. Uh, like you said, things are. I mean, you have a choice to choose whether you want to buy a good quality product. Yeah, yeah, it's cheaper, cheaper, right? Product. Although, look, even though the cheaper product here it is still better quality than what we are having, what we are buying in Malaysia. The measure is that if you want a very good quality product, you definitely have to pay for it. So there's a choice here. At least you know you can pick and choose what you prioritize. Like what things you can just. Yeah. Like go with lower quality stuff. Like our recent what well, uh discount was with Adidas. Mm. When they really give you discount, they really really give you discount. Yeah. And the items are cheap already, despite having the tax, right? So we bought a few stuff. Hopefully we will share it soon. Uh, there was one thing yeah, that I wanted to say. Well, living quality here is better. Yeah. Yeah. Compared to back in Malaysia. Yeah. Like recently, I bought the because I have this uh, company perk, right? I get fifteen percent discount on Sonos speakers. So I got the Era three hundred. It was for five hundred fifty nine Canadian dollars plus tax, then minus some discounts. Mm. Five hundred fifty nine dollars. Very achievable. I think the same speakers back in Malaysia is like what two three thousand. No way, now I want to spend 2-3,000 on a kind of speaker, right? So even like the HomePod Mini in Malaysia is not launched, but mm. people are selling it for 600 ringgit. Here it's like what, $129 plus tax. Yeah. The spending power here is stronger, yeah. actually. <clears throat> Although we don't <clears throat> spend tempting. as much comparing dollar to dollar, but it's still sustainable for us. Uh, but I don't know how long that sustains in this weather. Until old age, you know? <laughs> the very okay. confusing thing is that you are cold here, but you can still feel the sun burning you. Not with this, but if you take out your jacket, you can mm-hmm. actually feel the heat as well. I think if you layer properly, then it's fine. Yeah. I think we didn't layer properly. We didn't even wear our heat tight. Mm. <laughs> well, another thing right, that's nice about Canada is that free speech here is very, very open. So while, catch, while where we are from, Malaysia, right? Uh, of course, Malaysia, Muslim Muslims, they are pro-Palestinians, of course, against Israel. So, if anything, that you will never see a pro-Israel protest in Malaysia, because I think they'll be shot to death, I think. But here, despite Canada being uh, supportive of Israel, but the Palestinian people here, or the people who are against what Israel is doing, the Palestinians have some march, they get to march peacefully. Uh, the police, all they arrange it nicely. They really march peacefully. I have one of the video in my channel. Uh, of course, they can get a bit rowdy, but they are still allowed to protest without being beaten up or, you know, caught or whatsoever. So if you have a voice, you get a permit, then you're you're okay to go. You know? Free speech here. It can be a bit of a double edged sword, but at least people get to speak their mind about it. We were saying that how cold the determine how long we'll be, we'll be doing this video. <laughs> I think we're almost at the end, eh? <laughs> Next question. Uh, I think you shouldn't edit, but you just update it like that. <laughs> no. Uh, is it very cold there? Uh, I think yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when we arrived last year, it was cold. She she didn't get a proper jacket. Yeah. It was just a unique low, easy down jacket. Ah, yeah. The light parka. Oh, she suffered for a few days. Then she got a goose right away, Canada yeah. goose. Uh, my my unique low one was well, it's still bearable, and then there was so much snow as here. We landed, there was like piles of snow everywhere. A bit disgusting when it mixed with the road, right? Almost one year in, if you look around, there is no snow. Yeah, this Close year is none. definitely lesser snow compared to last year. Close to zero, but 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 given that when we moved here, right, last year it, it already started got, getting warmer a bit, spring. But so when we moved, so given that we live here for a year, <laughs> it, it it dropped to a negative fifteen or. 18 for a week. Mm. So the Lake Ontario actually freezes over. I'll put a shot inside the video. Uh, but now it's just very wavy. And the ducks are still enjoying <laughs> being in the water for some reason. Uh, so what, next question, do we miss Malaysia? Do we miss Malaysia? I miss the food, of course. I miss our family. Mm. I miss the, the craziness that we have, uh, my colleagues and stuff. Other than that, not much. Maybe miss, maybe I miss driving a bit because I've been driving <laughs> for a year, right? We have no, as you said, we have, don't have a car yet. It's a bit out of our budget. Uh, when are you coming back to Malaysia? Yeah, when are we coming back to Malaysia? Uh, you want that? Yeah. You're flying back on me. We'll be back for three weeks. Yeah, so we bought tickets with Korean Air. Uh, $1,700 return for one person. So two person is about 3005 Uh, That took a bit of a hit with our financial, but it's fine because we brought some savings from, from Malaysia. 
Yeah, we did manage to sell out quite a good amount as well. Yeah. Although so. earning is lesser. Yeah. But like, I think we pretty much burned through the money that we brought, right? Most of it. Left a bit. Yeah. Uh yeah, but I think overall we are still doing quite good. Yeah. Uh, we still managed to save money. Yes, you did because uh, there's Christmas, Chinese New Year, and then a bit of our PR application because we were working on our PR. Uh, so that one was a, a bit of cost. You had to take English tests. We have to pay to certify our degree to make sure it's legit. All these are costs and yeah. money, right? But it's good that, that we are going back see our parents and yeah, then she has to some run some errands eat some food eat a lot of food I think but, but I think my, 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 my spiciness tolerance has dropped a lot <laughs> it was, it was. Yeah, and I, I hopefully the stomach can still stomach the uh, oily food because here <laughs> yeah. it's very different uh, no santan I think for almost a year no santan uh. <laughs> also nice news I think we are getting a decent layover in Korea due to some changes so we'll be Hopefully we can do some amazing race in Korea, you know, just run to Incheon or Seoul, take some photos and run back to the airport. We got a one night stay right, for free yeah. in Korea. Uh, I think we are both freezing to death. <laughs> Anything else you want to share? No. Actually freezing, actually freezing. <laughs> Now, just to sum up, I think we are still enjoying Canada and yeah, we, we don't have plans to move back yet. Yeah, of course. We, yeah, and then... For the effort that we put in, right? <laughs> yeah, but although it's expensive and all people are saying, and it's true, but I think we are still doing good and we are still sustainable on our own. I think... Uh, I think it'll just get better over time as we settle down. Yeah. If you're interested in our journey of getting here, there's a playlist moving to Canada <laughs> vlogs, right? Uh, it's been a year ago. I don't have mics. The audio is shit, but it was. it's a journey of how we got here for, since the uh, interview. Then the process along the way, if you're interested to listening. Oh, I was wondering. Uh, yeah, I think I should be doing more of these videos actually because uh, we were recently <laughs> at a Chinese New Year gathering with the Malaysians, right? <laughs> And then this uh, girl, uh, she said that she, what matters is what, right? Yeah. She's seen this before. <laughs> like, we were like, no, I haven't seen you before. <laughs> and like, huh, what? And then she said she, she uh, came, uh, stumbled upon uh, my YouTube channel. Yeah, uh, although there hasn't been much Canadian content, uh, I was thankful because recently I got on uh, my first YouTube paid project, right? So it's almost ending. That's why there's a shift in content. Really, really, we should do more of this sitting down, vlogging. Uh, okay. But Erica has to speak more, right? Click yes and comment, you know? Yeah. No, it's not only my channel. But she's trying to launch her own channel as well. No. Soon. <laughs> That's Animal Crossing soon content. Soon in 10 years. Do it now. Cause when I got my life. You see, the thing is, like, we always say that we want to do things, but uh, we, we say we have good ideas, but then we don't do it. But you, sometimes you just have to pick up the camera and do it. I know it may not be the best looking video. Uh, because why? one of the really biggest regrets that uh, we, I had was during the pandemic when I moved in with her. Uh, during the lockdown in Malaysia, we were all locked down at home, right? We can't go out. We were so uh, reliant on grab food, right? Yeah. So I had this idea I was telling her, right? Why don't we review what we eat today at Grab Food? <laughs> yeah. I've been saying it for a few months. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Never had to never thought of doing it, never picked up the camera and do it. There was so much excuse and reasoning. Uh so and fast forward two years later, then you look at how uh food food vloggers and food channel has done over the pandemic, then you like shit. They did very, very well. They built their base, you know. So if you have an idea, get up, do it, you know. Just just start. If you don't start, then you don't know, right? Then you regret things that you didn't do rather than the things that you do. Right? Good thing from Big Bang Theory recently that we keep rewatching it again. <laughs> so yeah, so if you have plans to start a channel, <coughs> Erica. What? Start your channel. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> so that's that's one of the word of advice, and then I think it's very cool. We need to go back and cook lunch. <laughs> <sighs> uh, anything else, everyone? All right, with that, we we'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Bye. Bye.